Hi everybody, Jamie the Board Game Man here. In today's episode, we're going to look at a game from 2021. It's by Buffalo Games, plays one to four players, ages eight and up. It is called Space Invaders. Now in this game, you can find a Target and Walmart. I believe I found mine at Walmart. I believe they still have them there. Um, I did get this last year, so I'm not sure if they're still there, but at least at the time of taping, I believe they're either on sale or maybe clearancing out at this point. But uh, in this game, what you're trying to do is obviously you're shooting the aliens, just like you do in the video game. I was a very big Atari 2600 fan growing up, and that was definitely one of my favorite games was Space Invaders. So when this came out, I thought, oh, wow, definitely not got to get it. Definitely got to get it. So I went ahead and got it, and I'm going to go ahead and show you how to play Space Invaders. Hello everybody and here we are at the gaming table which in this case unfortunately is just too darn small. <laughs> so as soon as I show you how to play um, I'm going to have to maybe put this on the floor that way I can show you because my table is only so long and you can see the game board is pretty long. So let's go ahead and go over the components. First you got the game board here. It is two sided as you can see here it is a three as is the three to four player side and on the back side is a two player side. Now you come on over here. And you have your little catapult here. That's where you're going to shoot off your uh, bullets, which are right here. Those are your shooting tokens. You also have a turn token. And then these keep track of your hits on you and on the UFO, as you can see down here. As you can see right here, you got the UFO, and then you have you. You also have level one, two, and three forms that every player gets one of these. Then you also have the short blast wave. And then you turn on this side. And you have a long blast wave, which I'll go over in a moment. You also have your armory. You also have the aliens themselves, which are these cards. And then you have this here is where you store your points after you shoot down those aliens. What you do is you're going to put them on here, and they're going to turn into points. And then you got your UFO at the top. Okay. So let's go ahead and get this set up so you can. I can show you how to get this thing set up so you can play. All right, so before we head to the floor and I show you how to play the game, let me show you a couple uh, setups, okay? So first, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and take your instruction booklet, and you're just going to turn it to the first page. This is how you're going to determine how the difficulty level of your game. So you see here, this will determine how high your health you start off at. And you can see right there, it has 20, 20, 15, and 10, which is right here. And this is if you want to do... Training mode, standard, expert, or elite. So you can choose how high health you want to start your own game. And then you have here, this is going to be the UFO's health. All right. And this will show you two players, three players, four players. You want to do training, standard, expert, and elite. This allows you to choose pretty much the difficulty level on shooting down the UFO, because that is one of your objectives you want to do in the game. Once you decide how to do that, you're going to go ahead and place the red peg in the board with the number corresponding to how many players and whatnot, and then yours, wherever you want to start your health at. Okay, that's the very first thing you're going to do in the game. Then you're going to have these. These are your level one cards, level two cards, and level three. You go three levels. All right. Each player is going to take one of each. All right. And you're also going to take whatever color you decide to do. You're going to go ahead and take, these are all the... the I guess you could say the, the tokens that you shoot the, the uh, aliens with. All right. So you're going to take all these. They're going to be two threes, two twos, and three ones that you're going to start off with. Okay. Each on the back of each one of these that you start off with, it will give you a certain power that you can use during that level. Okay. So for instance, in this one, level one, it says... If you hit an invader, you may redirect the attack to an adjacent invader instead, either vertically or horizontally. So if you choose to have this as your first card in level one, you do exactly what it says on the card. Same with level two, when you go into level two. This one says, if you do not land on an invader, apply the long blast wave to extend this shot, which I will go over when we go on the floor and I show you how to play. Okay. 
And then you have level three. I'll show you one of these. Apply the long blast wave. There's that long blast wave again to extend the shot, destroying up to two invaders. So you can see each player is going to have a level one, a level two, and a level three. And you're also going to take all your firing tokens of your color. And like I said, you get three level ones, two level twos, and two level threes. Okay, let's head on over to the floor and let's show you how to play. Okay, so the first thing we're going to do for setup is go ahead and set up how many shots of health that we're going to have and the UFO. So in this case, we saw the UFO. We did the training mode for three players, which means four hits. So we're going to go ahead and place the red right in the four. And since we're in training mode, we're going to go all the way up to 20 and place our white marker in the 20. And as we get hit, it goes down, down, down. You also see these little bullets, these little red marks here. And this is when you are able to get more shots. Because what you do at the very beginning of the game here, every player is going to go ahead and put their level one card up, face up. Okay, and you'll see a little circle there. Now you have your shots here. Okay. And what you're going to do is, like I said at the very beginning, you have three ones, two twos, and two threes. So each player is going to go ahead and take two shots here and place them right here. You're going to still have one left over, which goes right on top. This player is going to do the same. Okay, you're going to take your two ones here. You're going to place the one here. Okay, and same with the green player. You're going to take these two here, place them here, and then you're going to have this one right here. Okay, and that's how that's going to work. Actually, you probably, probably just go like this. There we go. Just way you keep all your shots together. Okay, and that's how you're going to go ahead and start. And of course, the turn token, that's when you, how you're going to remember uh, which player started that round. Okay, so that person's it's kind of like a first player mark, I guess you could say. You're also going to have on the side here your short blast wave and your long blast wave. And I'll go over that in a moment. You also have your armory. And what happens is, is after the round is over, you will take all your shots that you made and you go ahead and set them in here with your corresponding color. And then once the second round or the third round starts, you pick up those and put them back into your inventory. Okay, and then you also have the Space Invaders, which I'm going to go over right now. Okay, so with the cards, you have your Space Invaders on the back. As you can see, they have the, the little 8-bit look there. And pretty cool, huh? They all have different numbers on the bottom, arrows. I will go over that right now. So what you're going to do is you're going to load up the Space Invaders. What you're going to do is you're going to load up the top two rows. I know it's very faint, but there are rectangles here for the cards. There's four rows of five. So what you're going to do is starting on the upper right hand corner, you're going to start loading up the invaders. Just like so. Start back over here. And of course you're going to decide how many of these cards you want in the game too, which is also in the book. So you can decide, you know, do, you want, do you want to start with 15? Do you want to start with 20? Do you want to start with so-and-so? you're going to determine that as well okay and that does make a difference because you're trying in the object of the game is you're trying to kill all the invaders and the ufo that's what you're trying to do okay all right so that's when you start off with that now let's go ahead now you normally like i said my table is too short you would have the ufo sitting up here okay and i'll put that in a little later on but let's go ahead and show some shots here that way i can kind of show you how this works you're going to go ahead and put just like this okay now let's see how good of a shot I am here. So you're going to take your little catapult thing here, your little shooter here, and you're going to place it on the bottom of the board. Let me go ahead and bring this down a little bit. This game is so huge. There we go. So what you can do is you can have it on the edge of the board. Just make sure you're not on the board. You're not allowed to have it on the board. So you cannot have it like this or anything like that. It must be lined up to the bottom of the board like so. You can slide this anywhere you want, okay, as long as it's underneath the red and white line, okay? So the first player, what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and take your first shot, okay? So what you're going to do is you're going to go ahead and take your first shot here, and you're going to place it right in your gunner. All right. So now what happens is, if you, decide, if you do this and you go, oops, and you accidentally botch it, and if it lands anywhere on the surface, you can take a reshoot. But the problem is you only have three shots, reshoots. You've got to make sure you get it over. Now, if you shoot it, and it just goes over this purple line here, over the horizon, that shot does count. So, unfortunately, hopefully you do not do that. <laughs> okay. 
but if it shoots like right here, you're good. Anywhere on the planet's surface, you can reshoot it. Um, obviously, you'll only have three reshots. But once it goes above this purple line, that's it. It's, it's, it's counted as a shot. Okay. So let's see what happens here. So I'm going to go ahead and take my first shot here. Let's see how I do here. So you can hold on to this. You can hold on to anywhere else you want. And you can place this anywhere you want. So say I shoot it. Okay. Unfortunately, I did not shoot any invaders on that shot. Okay. So unfortunately, I don't get any points for that. I missed. Okay. As you can see right here, that's where I shot it. And unfortunately, I didn't get anywhere. So I'll go, I'll go ahead and keep it up this time, okay? So now you get your second shot, okay? And let's see what we got here. Let's see if I can shoot an invader here. Let's see. Oh, it rolled off. Now, that normally would have hit the UFO, but that, that wouldn't have been a hit. But anyway, that rolled off. We didn't get any points for it. So my round is over. I'm going to take a look and see over here and see if I have a special power I can use for my level one. If you do not land on an invader, apply the short blast wave to extend the shot. So let me go ahead and explain what the short blast wave is and the long blast wave. So say, right here, the short blast wave, what you'll do is you're going to line it, line it up just with this. If it touches the invader, then you will get credit for it. That is same with the long blast wave. Here's the long blast wave. What you'll do is you'll line it up like this. Okay, just like that. And if it hits it, then you get credit for it. So, for instance, if this was like this, then I would have got credit for that short wave, and I would have hit that invader. Okay, and I would have got credit for that invader. Okay, and so on. That's what the short and long blast wave does. Okay. Now let's go over some hits on what counts and what does not count. Okay. Let's go ahead and bring this up a little bit here. Okay. There we go. Okay. So let's say, for instance, let's go ahead and so let me show you what some shots that actually count. Now, say you landed, you know, halfway on the alien. Obviously, that that counts as a hit. If you landed on two aliens, well, you're lucky. You just knocked out two of those. That does count as two hits. So that's something you really, really want to do. If it lands on two, between two or on two invaders, you get credit for both of them. If it's right up against it, unfortunately, that won't work. Um, but if, as long as it's touching it, you're good to go. Okay? Now, let's look at the aliens. Because you're wondering, hmm, some of these have arrows. Some have one arrow, two arrows. Some have these little shields on there. And some, and, and, all, and two, one has two X's on it. Let's figure out what that is. So let's just say, for instance, okay, I hit this one. And let's say with the other shot, which is on the floor, I haven't picked it up yet. Let's say I did this one. Okay. Let's so let's just say I did that. Okay. Now what happens is, after the round is over, my round is over, the aliens start making their moves. Okay. Now what you'll see here is you're gonna always start on the right hand side. This alien has four arrows. And what happens here when he goes all when it has four arrows, this Vader is going to go all the way down and crash into the planet. Okay? That is one hit against you. That's what the, the red, the number one there is. That's how many hits that goes against you. Okay? So we'll take our little marker and bring it down to 19. Now, what you do is you take the alien up here, and it has two arrows. He's going to go down two spots. Okay? That's what happens there. This alien would be shot out. He would be removed from the game. Okay, and then this, this, the one that you made the shot with, goes into your armory. Okay, this one has one arrow. He's going to go down one. Then you go here. This one has two arrow, arrows, so it goes one, two, just down like that. And then this one only has one arrow, so he's going to go down one. Okay, now this one, I did hit, okay. I do want to go over the shield. Okay, I'll go over that in one moment here. Um, so this one would actually be shot down. So he would be taken out and put aside. This would go into your armory, like so. This one, unfortunately, has all the arrows. All the way down into the planet. So you're going to get hit with one more point. Then you go to the last one here. This has two arrows. This is going to go down two. Okay. This has one arrow, so it's going to go down one. 
Now you see on this one, this has a shield. What this means is all aliens that are adjacent to this invader is shielded. Okay, so say this this uh, invader was here, and I shot this invader. Okay, nope, he is still safe unless I shoot this invader. Once I shoot this invader, okay, then he goes out, and then he goes out. Okay, and then he gets removed from the game. So that's what the shield means. Like right here, you would have to shoot the one with the number one on it before you can kill the one number two. Same if this alien was here. Let's just say that alien was here. Both of those would be shielded. But when there's two aliens next to each other that have shields, they do not shield each other. Okay? So say, for instance, this was like this. These two do not shield each other. Okay? They're fair game. You can knock those out. Okay? But for instance, if you hit... This one first, obviously this is protected by that one unless you shoot that one down. The two X's, you see on the bottom right hand corner, that takes two hits. You need to hit it twice in order for him to go down. But you don't have to do it dry on only on your turn, it's after everyone has taken their turn. So say for instance I hit this, okay, and then the other player, the purple player, boom, hits him too, he's done, he's out of the game, okay. So you move the invaders between each round. So what you do is you're going, to you're going to move them around between each round. And you'll have until that last player goes through all their shots in order to take out any of these invaders. Okay. So you're going to move the invaders down each time a player goes. Okay. And then at the end of the round, when everyone's had a turn, that's when you're going to go ahead and... and uh, like, for instance, in this one, you had two hits on this one. This one gets taken out of the game. All right, and so on. Now, what you're trying to do, like I said, is trying to kill all the aliens off. The invaders. I'm sorry, I keep saying aliens. Invaders. And also the UFO. So, what you're going to do here. Let's say, for instance, here. When you're down to six or less invaders. Okay. This is when it gets a little tricky. You all have one last turn to try to take out as many of these invaders as you can. So, for instance, say we've gone through the three rounds, we have these five invaders left, we're under, we're six and under. So we have one last chance to knock these out. Whatever aliens you do not knock out, let's just say we all shot and we all missed them, okay? Each one of these, regardless of the arrow, goes all the way down the planet. And when it hits the planet, it's double the damage, okay? So, for instance, this would be four. If this one hit, that'd be really hurt, because that'd be eight. And whatever remaining ones would come crashing down to the Earth's surface, and that would be double the amount that you get hit. Okay, And hopefully after you survive that, then you'll have a very last round. We're going to go after the alien ship, which is usually up top of there, but I don't have room for it. When you need to hit it, and that's when you take care of this. This is when it tells you how many times you need to hit it inside of the UFO in order to beat it. Okay, So at the end of each round, like I say... I go through, I try to shoot any, they come down, whatever, and then you replenish. So say, for instance, this is how it looked. Say we had some aliens here. After my turn, we had, you know, some here. And, like, say we had one here. And say this one didn't move. And so on, that kind of thing. Then what happens is you would replenish the same way you did before. You would take this and go so on. Always starting from the top right. And you move it all the way down, all the way down this way. So you go like this, and you go like this. Okay. Now let's say, for instance, I made some shots here. Let's just say I went boom, and then boom. And let's just say we had one more. Let's just say we shot this one twice. Okay. Now this is how the aliens move down. So let's just say, like I just went over, this one's gone. Okay. This one will be taken out of the game. And, of course, this one would go all the way down to the earth because he has all those arrows, and then you could hit one. Now, for instance, on this one, what you do is you would take, go down one. Now, this one says to go down two, but we shot this one, so we're, we're lucky on that one. So this one gets taken out of the game. Okay. Now, let's just say this one got taken out because we shot it twice. This one comes out of the game. Okay. Now, what we have here, this would go down one. Okay. And then this top one, it can't go down all the way because we have this alien sitting here. 
So this will only go down as far as it can before it hits another alien. That's only when it comes to that alien with the four, uh, so I keep saying aliens, invaders. Now, if you have this scenario, okay, let's just say these were reversed. I want to show you a scenario here. Let's just say this one was here and this one was here, okay? This one would go down one, okay, because it has one arrow, but this one has two arrows. Well, it can only go down once, right? No. What he does is he goes down one and he pushes this alien down another one. And that's how that goes that far down. Yep. But if you get the invaders that say two and then one like that, then it's going to push the other one down. Okay, so and then obviously with all the arrows, it only goes down as far as it can go. And that's how the movement of the aliens go down per round. Okay, now each time you, you hit, say you get hit, and you make it down to 16, or pass it, you don't have to land on it exactly, then you get another shot. So you're going to take that third one that you had and place it, actually you'll place it in your armory, and then starting next round you'll be able to use it. Then you get this one here, once you hit 12, You'll get your number two, one of your number twos. Remember I said you get two of these twos. Once you reach nine, you get another one. Once you reach five, you get another one. And once you reach down the two, you get another one. Then you'll be able to use all of your armory. So you get, the more and more shots you get, the more hits that you get hit. Okay, every time you hit one of those little red areas that are, they have the bullet, you get an extra shot for the next round. You'll place them in your armory, and then at the beginning of the next round, you'll go ahead and take all those out. You'll say, okay, you'll have all your, your chips ready to go for your next round, okay? Then you have the UFO at the top. Let's go ahead and get that UFO. You always put this at the end of... I'm going to put it right there for right now because I just can't seem to... And I did a bad job putting it together, by the way. This thing, you have to put it together. There we go. And obviously, in order to hit the UFO, you have to actually shoot it inside the UFO. So say you shot it, and you go right inside there... That counts as a hit. It does not count as a hit if it goes here or lands on it or goes up against it or something. It's only when it goes inside of the UFO does it get count as a hit. And of course, that would go down like so. Okay. And that's pretty much it, my friends. That is the Space Invaders game. What you're doing, you're trying to shoot all your aliens. I'm sorry, I keep saying aliens, not got it. Invaders, as many of them as you can, until you get six or less. And then you really got to make sure you shoot them down. Because they all come crashing down to the earth with double the damage that it shows on that bottom of that card. And hopefully, if you are able to withstand that, then you go into a final round where all you're doing is going after that UFO. That's it. So, and then at the end of that, the three round, you know, the, the round that all three players in this case get to try to shoot that UFO. If you don't get if you don't shoot down the UFO, you lose. But you can still go over the points. And let me go ahead and go over the points that you get for each one of these aliens. And that's what this is for. So what you'll do at the end of the game, okay, while you shoot these aliens off, say when you beat them, what you're gonna do is you're gonna go ahead and put them in the corresponding spots. So say you, you know, got this one, oh, I shot down this one, I shot down this one, and so on. You're just gonna keep going, okay, and say these are the ones you shot down, okay? So at the end of the game, you're gonna go ahead and clear all this off. You're gonna go ahead and take these, slide them off like so and you're gonna go ahead and flip this over and you can tell it shows you what your points will be so you know see I shot you know I shot one of these I get 10 points I shot two of these so I would get 40 points I shot one of these so I got 30 points if you win the game if you win it all you get you know you withstood the invaders attack and then you shot down the UFO you get an, an, a bonus of 100 points you get 20 points for each hit on the UFO, okay? And you also get 10 points for each hit if you knocked out the one with a shield or the one with the two hits, okay? Remaining health. For each one of these remaining healths you get, you get a bonus of 10 points. And then you get extra points if you're in expert mode or in elite mode. So even when you lose the game, you know, you didn't, like you didn't defeat the UFO, you can still rack up your points, see how many points you get, and that's something that's fun to do, so in case you go, okay, my highest score in this game is, you know, 120, and then you can try to play again, try to beat that score without even really winning the game, so, and that's kind of cool too, so, um, 
But there you have it. There is the Space Invaders game. I hope I did a decent job of showing how to play this. This was pretty hard to do because my, my table is not long enough. Um, I just couldn't, I couldn't do this on the floor. I, I, there's no way. But I hope you understand it. If you have any questions, always feel free to ask them in the comments down below. And uh, let's head on over to the game room and I'll tell you what I think about the game. All right, my final thoughts on Space Invaders by Buffalo Games. You know what? It's a pretty cool little game. It is fun. It's a cooperative game, so you're definitely not going up against each other. You're actually rooting each other on. Uh, you're all going up against the aliens to try to stop the invasion. Um, that little catapult thing is pretty cool. And if you can master that, you can do pretty good in this game. Um, like my first couple times, you're probably going to way overshoot it. Um, until you finally get the hang of holding a little joystick and flipping it. And uh, that's pretty much what it comes down to, is how good you are at that catapult in that game. So um, it would probably be pretty tough to win, um, just because, I mean, uh, you only had a few shots per round. Of course, uh, the more you get hit, the more shots you get. Um, but just trying to hit that ship at the end, I tell you, it, it is a little tough to get that little, little spot on the top of the ship trying to shoot it in there. That can be kind of tough to do, but like I said, it comes down to getting to know that catapult, shooting it just enough right, you know, just enough oomph in it to get it in there. So, but you know what? I think it's a great little game. Um, you know, I, especially dexterity wise. I mean, come on, it's Space Invaders. So, um, I highly, uh, I, I, I would recommend getting it. I think it's a lot of fun. It's a very light game. And of course, you know, rooting for each other. Oh, you shot that alien. Woo! I mean, you know, you get that alien over there because he's going to come down and, and hit us, you know. That kind of thing. I think it's a. It, I think it's a great little concept, and uh, you know what? I think uh, Buffalo Games, you did pretty well here. I think uh, the ship could have been a little better. Um, you know, it's just cardboard and it could come apart if you're not careful. I mean, it, yeah, that could have been a little better, kind of cooler looking. But uh, I, I like the eight bit. Looks exactly like Atari. Um, that that's pretty cool. So uh, anyhow, that is my review of Space Invaders. I hope you enjoyed the episode, and I hope you come back for future episodes coming up soon. Well, thank you so much for watching, and happy gaming!